me James Perkins Life 4 um, today I'm going to be showing you what I did with or what I'm what I am doing with the leftovers from the fajitas if you have not watched that video yet you can go and check it out I'll put a card up here somewhere so you can go check those two videos out and that's where I made the fajitas but you know whenever you make something you make a big portion of it a lot of times you eat it to the point where it's like oh I just can't eat no more of that so this is kind of what I do with some of the leftovers so here uh, take a look at this all right so what we got here is I have some leftover rice from another meal we had I have a little bit left of the steak that's cooked I have some vegetables that are cooked I still have some leftover of the marinade that I saved that was not cooked this is the one that we saved out for there and I'm gonna show you what I do with it all set you right here okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, steak And there's not that much left in here, so we're just going to use all this. And we're going to cut this up. I'm just going to cut it up into little bitty pieces. Right, look at See, look at mine. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. Put your rag down. I think I gave, I gave this tip last time in one of the videos. There, now that'll help prevent that, that board from sliding around there. You just kind of want to just chop it up. You don't got to have it real small, but I like just chopping up little pieces. bowl here all right there's my steak cut up next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the vegetables and then you want to get you some of these vegetables out that's probably pretty good right there And you're going to chop these up too. And all you're doing is just kind of rough chopping everything down a little bit. Okay, let's get our other bowl. Alrighty, so we're going to head over to the stove. Alrighty, we're back. So what I'm going to do here is I got me a skillet, and I've got it on, heating up, and I'm going to put some oil in there. How about that much? And we're going to let this heat up a little bit. So it gets it starts getting warm and what I can do is you can take a piece of your rice that's uh, getting there you'll know whenever it's just take one piece because you don't want to dump it all in there because you want this to be hot before you dump everything in so it looks like it's probably about ready there so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna dump my rice in and I'm gonna get that all coated with that oil here because basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a fajita fried rice. So I'm going to get this going. I got my burner all the way up as high as it can go. So basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of, I'm going to fry this up a little bit. And then I'm going to dump all my rest of my stuff in there. 
And I'll show you how that all comes out here. So now I want to put my steak in because I want it to start warming up. And this is just one of those things where I make I make I make fajitas, and it was one of those things we kind of got sick and tired of fajitas, and so I had to try to come up with something else. And that's one thing I'm good at is, you know, just coming up with stuff out of the blue for whenever I'm cooking stuff. So that's pretty good right there. Add my veggies. And I want to saute this round until it gets mixed good and warm. I don't know if you can see that okay. Look at that. doesn't take very long at all because I mean it heats up really quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my leftover sauce that I have left over, you know, and I'm going to pour some of that in. Just like that. All mixed up in there. Don't you just love sticky pans? And there we go, we have fajita rice. So what I'm going to do, and yes, I make a mess, proud of it, got my pan, there we go. Let's see how she likes it. How is it? Good. Just, it's totally different than the fajitas. You know, so it's a, uh, the fajita fried rice and you could still, if you want, what I do is I'll still put this into like a burrito shell with some shredded lettuce and a little bit of cheese or or you can eat it just like this. You know, there's whichever way you want to do it. You can do it that way, but this is some really good stuff and it's just a really easy way to use up uh, leftovers. So don't forget that I'm doing a challenge right now from One Wheel Appeal. I'll put him right here. And um, that's going on. So I just wanted to get this out there real quick because it was about that time and it's lunchtime and I needed to make something for a tea to eat, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, you know, and we'll see you later. Bye.
She's eating. She says bye. <laughs>